Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The Kettering CCP Drone Act update, not a good one. A first category two drone with the FAA, a brand new DJI drone model. And then lastly, the FAA authorizes commercial BV loss flights without a visual observer. So let's get to it. All right, first up this week, not so good news. A new Senate amendment to the 2025 NDAA hopes to add the Countering CCP Drones Act. If enacted, the Countering CCP language would revoke all FCC approval for DJI and Autel products, effectively banning new models. The NDAA still has to be voted on by the Senate, but the addition of the Countering CCP language would align with the House of Representatives NDAA bill that we've talked about before and the Senate bill uh, on this uh, specific issue. Now, it's a great time Time for you to reach out to your representative and your senators as we near the election uh, to let them know that this language would devastate the industry and reduce public safety's ability to effectively save lives. Uh, this is a big deal, obviously, as we've talked about before with previous versions and generations of these bills. And of course, we'll keep you updated as this progresses. Next up, the first Category 2 drone has hit the DOC, the Declaration of Compliance list, on the FA website. Uh, this is the DJI Matrice 3D and 3D Thermal. Uh, they are now approved for operation over people under Category 2 and Category 3 uh, using the AVSS parachute system. Uh, we've talked about AVSS in the past. They've been doing uh, great strides in getting their stuff approved. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Matrice 3D, it's the one that goes inside of the, the DJI Dock 2. Both of the Matrice 3D and the 3DT are actually variable categories between CAT 2 and CAT 3, depending on the winds. Now, more approval should begin to hit the DOC list as AVSS tests more parachutes. We actually did an interview with the CEO of uh, AVSS a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's available on the Pixel Drone Show, so make sure to check it out if you have any questions about uh, what they do. Next up, there are some DJI leaks for a new drone. Yes, a totally new model. This is the DJI Neo. Uh, it hit the FCC database this week showing a 2S battery, which is a smaller battery, a 1435 milliamp hour battery. Uh, according to Drone Excel, uh, DJI follows a 30% rule with their battery to drone weight, which suggests that this drone would weigh around 170 grams. There are leaked pictures that show a possible prototype very similar to a DJI mini series is drawn. Uh, currently, there are no leak specs that we could find that made any sense. Uh, and we also can verify that the leak images are indeed for this model. So uh, keep this, uh, take this with a grain of salt at the moment. But we'll certainly keep you updated as we see more. And last up, the FAA has finally authorized the first commercial drone operation beyond visual line of sight without using any visual observers. Uh, the approval goes to Zipline and Wing Aviation. Uh, I'm guessing that this is an approval without a waiver uh, under Part 135, since other operators have actually been able to do this under Part 107 waivers. Uh, the FAA stated that the companies are sharing planned flight routes, with other authorized airspace users uh, by using unmanned traffic management, UTM, uh, systems. We're still expecting to see a notice of proposed rulemaking, an NPRM, uh, later this year that would normalize BV loss operation for drones. As always, as I've mentioned before, uh, don't get your hopes up too high with this NPRM. Uh, it is likely that it's still going to be uh, fairly difficult to attain, although there would be a path that would make it a little bit easier. And finally, a quick community update. We have our July drone photo contest winner. Uh, this month is Derek Paulson with this beautiful photo called Beautiful Mountain Lake Outside Glacier National Park. Uh, congratulations to Derek, who will receive a custom-made Pilot Institute trophy and a $250 gift card. Uh, we'll have another contest in August, so stay tuned for more details coming up. And that's it. Uh, we just came back from uh, Oshkosh, where we spent the last uh, 10 or so days. Uh, we had a great time talking to a ton of you uh, that came to visit, whether airplane students or drone students. Uh, we also talked to a lot of uh, visitors that had a lot of questions about drones and airplanes. And so this was a, a very positive week. Uh, again, thank you if you stopped by the tent to uh, say hi, take a picture, get some goodies. Uh, we will be back next year for sure. And then in the meantime, the next big event that we're going to be at is Commercial UAV Expo, which is in Las Vegas and will be held the first week of September. So make sure
make sure you come and visit. And we'll have a big booth again as well and uh, be able to uh, shake hands and uh, see all of you over there. So uh, that's it for now. You have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday for the live. Greg, it's Ben. I'm Greg. Nice to meet you. Took a week off. You think you're out of practice with news update now? Uh, one more time. Very Trump through the um, pull it one more time. Let's do that again. As this progresses uh, on the pixel. Wow. Boop.